What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel, where today we are going to discuss the best 6 products according to its performance, budget, value and more. Check out the description for the latest prices and information. Gerber Gear 310076N The Gerber Gator Bolo Machete is a fantastic tool for people on a budget. This machete has a well-designed ergonomic handle form, a slip-resistant grip, and a robust full-tang construction that you can anticipate using for years to come. The robust burly blade features the unmistakable design of a bolo machete, with the bulge near the front that aids in swinging strength. The 15.5-inch blade of the Gator Bolo is a beautiful tool for clearing track because of its heaviness and reach. This is another low-cost option made of corrosion-resistant 1050 steel. The aforementioned Gator grip handle punches beyond its weight and balance and comfort. This is a machete with a sturdy, tactile handle that allows for confident cutting. When you're swinging, the wrist lanyard provides much-needed protection. As such, it's a fantastic, low-cost chopping instrument that works well with traditional machetes. It is indeed the best value for your money. K-Bar Number BK21 Kukris have a radically distinct design from a regular machete. The Nepalese army originally devised the Kukri as an internally curved blade for outdoor and battle operations. The design was praised for its efficiency and power and quickly gained popularity across Asia. The Kukri is a standard weapon in Nepal. America's most recognized knife makers created the American-made K-Bar Becker Reinhardt BK-21 Kukri Machete. This knife weighs 1.4 pounds, which places it in the center of the other large knives we've looked at. The blade measures 0.2 inch in thickness. The blade comprises Crovan plain carbon steel and has a flat grind and 23 degree angles. The manufacturers have coated the blade with epoxy powder to protect it against rust. The handle is small, especially when compared to the blade's length. This design concentrates much of the power up front, ideal for Kirkry chopping. Because the fulcrum is back, there is a mechanical advantage. To put it another way, the tip will move a lot, even if you only move your wrist a little. The sheave's tip is protected by a plastic cup, ensuring that the knife's tip remains sharp at all times. The sheath has a single belt loop and a spine opening one button fastening strap. One major flaw with this knife's design is that the scabbard rides upon the hip when worn, and the grip can get in the line while walking or operating in the woods. The K-Bar Becker Reinhardt BK-21 Kukri Machete is made in the United States by well-known knife producers. The high level of quality is evident. However, the unique Kukri style with its extremely long blade will only meet some people's demands or taste. Before you buy, keep this in mind. Whetstone Coultery 25H229 A fundamental survival tool that's the Whetstone Coultery Machete, it's around 22.75 inches long. It is a heavy-duty machete that offers a lot of features. The brute is suited for any situations, from the backyard to wilderness and the jungle, if you need to fight any trouble from survival to cleaning. This is the best tactical machete. This tool has a pack of wood cord wrapped in the handle with an exceptional and two-sided grip for your safety. It has a black-coated rust-resistant stainless steel blade, a heavy-duty sawtooth back, and a cord cutter slot featuring an eyelet for easy store and a slot in the handle for an additional strap that lets you easily carry it out. It has a high-quality nylon belt sheath, which is more durable. If you want last longer best tactical machete, then the Brute is a perfect choice. Tramotina This well-crafted Tramotina machete from Brazil will not only deliver the best swinging and whacking experiences, but will also save you time and money. It has an 18-inch long carbon steel blade with their standard face curve. Because of its length, can cover more territory, which is useful when clearing weeds and grass from your garden or yard. With a weight of 1.1 pounds, this handy cutting tool is well-balanced and can easily cut through limbs and branches. The machete's well-polished handle not only looks good, but it also feels good in the hand. It is thought to live longer than a turtle. The hardwood roughness may be too rough for specific user's hands, but one can remedy this by wrapping rubber straps or tape around it. This machete is an excellent choice if you want a versatile, low-cost machete that will offer you a lot of bang for your dollars. CRKT Halfa Chance An exotic machete based on a Southeast Asian model, suited for tropical rainforest but also for your backyard. 
Onion designed the knife for CRKT and selected 65mn carbon steel for the blade. This type of steel is similar to the 1065 and is often used for larger cutting tools like machetes or swords. The blade is relatively thick at 0.1 inch and is powder coated in black for a good look and corrosion resistance. Ship with a heavy duty nylon sheath. The sheath is nylon reinforced and heavy duty. It has three snaps that retain the half a chance snugly therein, which is a shortcoming considering snaps of this quality rust easily. However, the nine holes offer paracord wrapping possibilities similar to the handle. Whether you're blazing a trail toward salvation, clearing some brush beyond the chicken coop, or joining the crusades of the local revolution, if you don't have half a chance at your side, you don't have half a chance at success. However, if you don't like those odds, check out CRKT's similarly designed parang. Snake Eye Once you get your hand on this fixed blade machete, you may never let go. And that's a good thing. The toughest jobs often take place in the grimiest, sweatiest conditions, so you'll want a tool that won't slip out of wet hands and can handle grit, sap, dirt, and hours of slashing. With a sawtooth blade spine and a stout 3mm thick blade, you'll likely give up before this machete will. If you're looking for a blade to use as part of a survival kit or go back, first make sure that it will fit. A too large machete is a machete that may get left behind. Also, make sure it's solidly constructed so it won't come apart after rough handling. You can guess what you'll be using a survival machete or knife for, but you won't know for sure until you're in a survival situation, so this is no place to go low. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos.